Hi Yogi, welcome to my channel Angela Lee Yoga. My name is Angela and today I'll be guiding you through an hour long vinyasa practice dedicating to intention. More specifically, setting an intention and moving with intention. This practice is slightly more than on the uh, intermediate side, but do not worry, I will have modifications for beginners as well. You may need two blocks, a booster, and or a strap to make some of the poses more accessible. We'll begin in supported supine butterfly pose. Place a bolster or two blocks under, one under your head and one under your shoulders. If you do not have any, just simply lay on your back. Allow your knees to fall apart and your feet touched. If this is too intense, you can keep your legs stretched out, supported fish pose. Inhale deeply and as you exhale, release all tensions and stress you are holding on to, setting the tone for this practice. With one hand on your heart and another on your belly, gently close your eyes. Set your intention for this practice. Setting an intention for your practice is a way to bring focus and purpose to it. An intention could be a word that resonates with you today, a goal, an idea, or a person, even yourself. As we bring our focus to a singular idea, it clears mental clutter and instills more clarity as well as bring more of this intention into our lives. For example, if we choose to focus on an intention such as calm or gratitude, these attributes can become more present in our lives. The goal is to live more from intention and less from habit. Take a few more rounds of deep breaths. During the 60 minutes practice, I want you to move with intention. Even if you know the poses and alignment by heart, slow down, pay attention to your breath, recognize and feel intention in your movement. Beautiful. Open your eyes. Remove any prop you may have. If you have a strap, a tea towel, or a shirt, loop it around your right foot. Extend the right leg and kick the heel towards the sky. It's okay if your leg isn't straight. Keep a bend in the knee if that's where your body is today. Another option is to grab your big right toe with your in your peace finger. If your lower back feels a pinch, bend into the left leg. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good. Use your right hand to guide your right leg out to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in breathe out now guide your right leg back to center left hand grabs a hold of the strap or the big toe and guide your right leg across your body notice where you feel the stretch the most take a full breath in and a full breath out good release the hold of the right foot and rest it next to your left with both legs stretched out, notice if one leg now feels longer than the other. This part of the practice always amazes me. Loop the strap around your left foot or use your left piece finger around the big left toe. Extend your left leg, heel kicked to the sky. Feel the stretch along your hamstring. 
Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good. Guide your left leg to the left side and breathe. Guide your left leg back to center and use your right hand to guide it across your body towards the right. Imagine you can send your breath to where you feel the stretch the most. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful. Guide your left leg back to center before releasing it to the mat. Roll onto your favorite side and slowly push yourself up to a seat. Face the front of the mat. Legs can be as wide as you like them to be. Melt your hips onto your heels and begin to walk your hands forward until you can rest your forehead on the mat. I want to focus on my shoulders, so I'm going to place two blocks under my hands. If you have two blocks, feel free to join me. Otherwise, just melt into your child pose. If you are using blocks, come onto the top of your fingertips, feel the opening in your chest and the scapular retractions in the shoulder blades. Come home to your breath. Good. Remove your blocks if you had used them. Inhale. Thread your right arm under your left shoulder. Your left hand can reach overhead, or you can bind it on your lower back. Relax your right cheek and ear. Push slightly into your right hip in order to keep the hips squared. Beautiful. Now push your left hand to come up. Thread that left hand under your right underarm, resting on your left cheek and left ear. Push into your left hip and breathe. Find your way back to child pose. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Push the mat away from you to send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take your dog out for a walk here if it feels good, bending into one knee at a time. Rotate your so your biceps come by your ears. Fingers spread wide. Keep pushing your heart towards your thigh and allow your spine to be straight. Good. Extend your right leg up to the sky. Bend into the right knee. Open up your hip. Maybe you bring in some ankle rotations, moving it into one direction, then the other. Now square your hip and straighten out your right leg before stepping it between your palms. Engage your core to pull yourself up high lunge. Draw your belly into your spine. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Arms out in front of you. Wrap your left elbow under your right, binding once or twice. Emphasize on keeping the shoulders down, elbows up. And hands move away from your face. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your hands on your hips and turn to the to face the left side of the mat. Your feet are in line with your knees. Inhale, get tall, and exhale. Fold from the hip. Allow your hands to fall wherever that's accessible to you. Allow your hands to fall wherever that's accessible to you. Option to use blocks here to bring the ground closer to you. Inhale to find space, and exhale melt further into the fold. Good. 
hands back to your hips to slowly come up. Spin your right foot so it is now facing the front of the mat. Bend into the right knee, arms extended along, along at the shoulder height, palms facing down. Warrior two. Engage your quads and engage your hamstring. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, straighten out your front leg. Keep hinging your right hand forward until you cannot. Exhale, hand to the shin on a block or on the mat. Chikanasana Triangle Pose. Left hand reaches for the sky. Maybe you look up. Think of opening your heart to the sky so you're not collapsing here. Beautiful. With hands on your hips, see if you can square your hips to face the front of the mat. Maybe you step your back foot in a few inches, pyramid pose. Your spine is straight and in line with the mat. Option to use blocks here or simply fold over your right leg. Feel the stretch along the back of your legs and breathe. Bend into your front knee to step your back foot up to meet your right Uttanasana standing forward fold. Roll your shoulders open, squeezing the shoulder blades together and clasp your hands behind your back. Bring your hands to the sky and breathe. Good. Release your hands back to the mat. Step or hop back into plank, shoulders over wrist, belly tucked into your spine, legs are so engaged. Inhale, shift forward an inch and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, elbows by your rib cage, shine your heart. Exhale, push up and back, downward facing dog. Extend your left leg up to the sky. Bend into the left knee, open up your hip. Maybe you bring in some ankle rotations, moving it in one direction, then the other. Good, square your hip and straighten out your left leg before stepping it between your palms. Engage your core to pull yourself up high lunge. Draw your belly into your spine, shoulders down and away from your ears, arms out in front of you. Wrap your right elbow under your left, binding once or twice. Remember, shoulders down, elbows up, hands away from your face. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your hands on your hip and turn to face the right side of the mat. Your feet are in line with your knees. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, fold from your hip. Allow your hands to fall to wherever that's accessible to you. Inhale to find space. And exhale, melt further into the fold. Good. Hands back to your hips. Come up nice and slow. Spin your left foot so it's now facing the front of the mat. Bend into the left knee. Arms extended along at the shoulder height. Palms facing down. Warrior two. Engage your quads. Engage your hamstrings. Your arms are nice and strong. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, straighten out your front leg. Keep hinging your left hand forward until you cannot. And exhale, hand to the shin, a block on the mat. Chikanasana Triangle Pose. Right hand is reaching for the sky. Draw as much space between your fingertips as possible. Maybe you look up. Think of opening your heart to the sky and breathe. Good. With hands on your hips, see if you can square your hips to face the front of the mat. 
Maybe you step your back foot in a few inches, pyramid pose. Your spine is straight and in line with the mat at first. Option to use blocks here or simply fold over your left leg. Feel the stretch along the back of your legs and breathe. Bend into your front knee to step your back foot up to meet the left Uttanasana forward fold. Roll your shoulders open, squeeze the shoulder blades together and clasp your hands behind your back the more unusual way. Bring your hands to the sky and breathe. Feel the stretch in your heart and your shoulder blades. Good. Release your hands back to the mat. Step or hop back into plank, shoulders over wrists, belly tugged into your spines, legs engaged. Inhale, shift forward an inch, and exhale, chaturanga, lower with control. Inhale, cobra, elbows by your ribcage, shine your heart. Exhale, push up and back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, step or hop up to the front of the mat, halfway lift, back flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, hands reaching for the sky. And exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shine your palms forward. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right leg back, low lunge. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, straighten out your front leg. Flex into the foot, half split. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, come back to low lunge. And exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward an inch. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or hop up. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Hands reaching for the sky. And exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shine your palms forward. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg back. Low lunge, drop the back knee down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, straighten out your front leg, flex into the foot, half split. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, come back to low lunge, and breathe out, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward an inch, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or hop up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, hands reaching for the sky. And exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, one more time, reach for the sky. And exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. Inhale, shift. Forward and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, what up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Let us take two deep cleansing breaths together here. Coming back to the intention we set for this practice. Exhale where you are. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale deep through your nose. And sigh it out loud through your mouth. 
good. Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, high lunge. Exhale, spin your back heel down. Left foot is about 45 degrees to the left top corner of the mat. Stack your right knee over your right ankle. Arms reaching for the sky. Warrior one. Hands on your hips. Pivot your feet to face the right long side of the mat. Feet are in line with the knees. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, fold from the hips. Inhale, find space. Exhale, fold. Wherever your hands are, draw them back to your waist and rise. Spin your front heel so the right foot is now facing the front of the mat. Knee bent at 90 degrees angle. Warrior two. Arms out wide. Tuck your belly into your spine. Gaze past your front fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Right hand reaches for the sky. Left hand slides down the left leg. Peaceful warrior. Exhale. Back to warrior two. Inhale. Hinge your right fingertips forward and down. Straighten out your front leg. Triangle pose. Shine your heart to the sky. Beautiful Chikanasana. Now plant your hands back to the mat. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, high lunge. And exhale, spin your back heel down. Right foot is 45 degrees angle to the top right corner of the mat. Stack your left knee over your right your ankle. Arms reach for the sky, warrior one. Hands at your feet. Pivot your feet so you're facing the right long side of the mat. Feet are in line with your knees. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, fold from the hip. Inhale, find space. And exhale, fold. Wherever your hands are, draw them back to the waist and rise. Spin your front heel so your left foot is now facing the front of the mat. Knee bent at 40, 90 degrees angle. Arms out wide, warrior two. Tuck your belly into your spine. Gaze past your front fingertips. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, left hand reaches for the sky. Right hand slides down the right leg. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, hinge your left fingertips forward and down. Straighten out your front leg. Triangle pose. Shine your heart to the sky. Good. Plant your hands back to the mat. Step your left foot back downward facing dog let us add more poses to the series moving with intention now inhale extend your right leg up to the sky exhale step it between your palms inhale to rise and exhale warrior one arms reaching long hands at your waist spin to face the left long side of the mat Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. This time, walk your hands to the front of the mat. Frame the front foot. Inhale to rise. Arms reaching wide as if you're being pulled in both directions. Warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Right hand reaches up, left hand to the back leg. Inhale, rainbow back to warrior two. Keep reaching your right hand forward and exhale, triangle pose. Front leg is straight. Look about eight to ten inches in front of you. Plant your right hand there. Engage your core here to stabilize. Lift your left leg up. 
Your hips, your chest are all facing the left side, half moon pose. Keep flexing into your left foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Square your hips. Left hand and left foot come down to the mat. Right hand reaches for the sky. Easy twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now plant your left hand firmly. Come onto the outer edge of your left foot as you stack your right foot on top of the left side plank. If this does not work for you today, bend into the left knee like so, or you can step your right foot in front of the left. Whichever variation you decide, engage your core and breathe. Beautiful. Release your right hand back to the mat. Push your hips up, downward facing dog. If you found that a wee bit challenging, you are not alone. Take a moment here to just come home to your breath before we go on to the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky and exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise. Exhale, warrior one, arms reaching forward. Hands at your waist, spin to face the right side of the mat. Inhale, find length and exhale, fold. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold. This time, walk your hands to the front of the mat, frame the front foot. Inhale to rise, arms reaching wide as if you're being pulled in both directions. Warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Left hand reaches up, right hand to the back of the leg. Inhale, rainbow back to warrior two. Keep reaching your left hand forward until you exhale, triangle pose. Front leg is straight. Now look about 8 to 10 inches in front of you. Plant your left hand there. Engage your core to stabilize and lift your right leg up. Your hips and chest are all facing the right side. Half moon pose. Keep flexing into your right foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Square your hips. Right hand, right foot come down to the mat. Left hand reaches for the sky. Easy twist. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Now plant your right hand firmly. Come onto the outer edge of your right foot as you stack your left foot on top of the right side plank. You always have the option to bend into the right knee. You can step the left foot in front of the right. Whichever variation you decide, engage your core and breathe. Release the left hand back to the mat. Push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise. Exhale, warrior one. Arms reaching long. Hands at your waist. Spin to face the left side of the mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, frame, frame the front foot, inhale to rise, arms reaching wide as if you're being pulled in both directions, warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior, right hand reaches up, left hand to the back leg. Inhale, rainbow back, warrior two. 
keep reaching your right hand forward and exhale straighten out your front leg triangle pose look about eight to ten inches in front of you plant your right hand there lift your left leg out parallel to the mat half moon pose keep flexing into the left foot breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out good gently drop your left foot down to the mat find extended triangle pose see if you can grab your big right toe if not rest your hand on your right shin or on a block shine your heart to the sky Maybe you look up, breathe in, breathe out. Plant both hands to the mat. Extend your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, step your right leg between your palms. Engage your core to rise, high lunge. Clasp your hands behind you and reach your palms away from you as far as you can and shine your heart to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your hands and reach them to the sky. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw your left leg up while simultaneously hinge your upper body forward. Warrior three. Your right leg is strong and straight, belly tucked into your spine. Your fingers and your left leg are in one straight line of energy. Good. Trust the ground to catch you as you drop your left foot back to the mat, hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold from the hips, pyramid pose. Your hands can rest on blocks on your shin or on the mat. Inhale, find space. Exhale, fold. Plant both hands back to the mat. Step your right leg back, downward facing dog. Let us flow through this series on the other side before we cool down. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise. Exhale, warrior one. Arms reaching long. Hands at your waist. Spin to face the right side of the mat. Inhale, find space. Exhale, fold. Inhale and exhale, fold. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Frame the front foot. Inhale to rise, arms reaching wide, warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior, left hand up, right hand on the back leg. Inhale, rainbow back, warrior two. Reach your left hand forward, straighten out your front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Look about eight to ten inches in front of you. Plant your left hand there, lift your right leg up, parallel to the mat, half moon pose. Flex into the right foot to stabilize. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good. Gently drop your right foot down to the mat, find extended triangle pose. See if you can grab your left big toe. If not, just simply rest your hand on your left shin or on the block. Shine your heart to the sky. Maybe you look up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Plant both hands on the mat. Extend your left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Step your right leg between your palms. Sorry, left leg between your palms. Engage your core to rise, high lunge. Clasp your hands between you the more unusual way and reach your palms away from you as far as you can. Shine your heart to the sky and breathe. Release your hands and reach them to the sky. Inhale. 
And as you exhale, draw your right leg up while simultaneously hinge your upper body forward, warrior three. Your left leg is strong and straight, belly tugged into your spine. Your fingers and your right leg are in one straight line of energy. Good. Trust the ground to catch you as you, as you drop your right foot back to the mat, hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold from the hips, pyramid pose. Your hands can rest on blocks, on the shin, on the mat. Inhale, find space. Exhale, fold. Plant both hands back to the mat. Step your right leg back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Walk a hop to the front of the mat, root to rise, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shine your palms forward. Find your drishti or a focus point at eye level as we're going to need it for some balancing. Bring the weight to your right foot as you lift your left knee up. Reach your left hand for the big left toe. Firm your left hip in and lengthen your spine. Inhale, extend your left leg out in the front. Keep it bent in the knee if needed. Do not compromise the length of your spine. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, bring your leg out to the left. Core is engaged. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Release the hold of your left toe as you step the left leg back, hands planted on the mat, low lunge. Inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky, hips up and back, three-legged dog. Bend into the right knee, open up your hip. Stay here if that's enough. Or flip your dog, right leg drops to the mat, wild thing. Your heart is shining upwards. Right hand reaches for the front of the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Beautiful. Flip back to down dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Walk a hop towards the front of the mat. Root to rise, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shine your palms forward. Find your drishti again. Bring the weight to the left foot as you lift your right knee up. Reach for your right hand for the big right toe. Firm your right hip in and lengthen your spine. Inhale, extend your right leg out in front. Keep it bent in the knee if needed. As long as you're not rounding your spine. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, bring your leg out to the right. Core is engaged. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Release the hold of the right toe as you step your right leg back, hands planted to the mat, low lunge. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky, hips up and back, three-legged dog. Bend into the left knee, open up your hip. Stay here if that's enough, or flip your dog, left leg drops to the mat, wild thing. Your heart is shining upward. Left hand reaches for front of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Flip back to down dog. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Slowly rise to warrior one. Stack your right knee over the right ankle. Hands reaching for the sky. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Straighten out your right leg, hands at the hip, fold halfway. Plant your left hand on the mat or on a block. I am going to use a block here as I find this pose especially challenging. Your right hand is reaching for the sky, revolved triangle. The challenge here is to keep your hips squared to the front of the mat. Tuck your lower belly in, breathe in, breathe out. Good. Release your hands and walk over to the left long side of the mat while leg it fold. Inhale, find space and exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, fold. Good. Walk your hands back to the front to frame your right foot. Extend your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, rest the right ankle between your left wrist. Sorry, behind your left wrist. Pigeon pose. Readjust here so your weight is evenly distributed. If it helps, place a block or a blanket under your right glute. When you're ready, begin to fold. Head can rest on your palms or on a mat. If your right knee is sensitive, flex into the right foot to protect the knee. Come home to your breath. As you surrender, into the pose, come back to the intention you set. And stay here for another five deep breaths. Good. Push the palms away from you to send your hips up and back. It may feel good to stretch your right leg up or draw some hip circle to release any tension you may have during that deep hip opener. Now inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. And exhale, step it between your palms, rise to warrior one. Stack your left knee over the left ankle, hands reaching for the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Straighten out your left leg, hands at the hip, fold halfway. Plant your right hand on the mat or on a block. Your left hand is reaching for the sky, revolved triangle. Keep your hips squared to the front of the mat. I know that can be very challenging. Tuck your lower belly in. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Release your hands and walk over to the right long side of the mat while leg it forward fold. Inhale to find space and exhale fold. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Good. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Frame the left foot. Extend the left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Rest the left ankle behind your right wrist. Pigeon pose. Readjust here so your weight is evenly distributed. Option to use block or a blanket under the left glute. When you are ready, begin to fold. Head can rest on your palms or on a mat. Flex into the left foot to protect the knee. With each breath, cultivate mindfulness. Acknowledge any thoughts that arise, but gently bring your focus back to the present moment. 
let go of any expectations or judgments and simply experience the pose as it is accepting the sensation that arise allow your intention to be a guide a reminder to stay connected to your breath to the present in your body and to cultivate a sense of inner peace as you breathe through any discomfort remember that you are recreating space not just in your body but also in your mind take another full breath in and a full breath out good push the palms away from you to send your hips up and back make any movements that may feel good here maybe you extend the left leg up and back or maybe you draw some hip circle just breathe beautiful one last mini series before we finish the practice inhale extend your right leg up to the sky and exhale step it between your palms press through your right foot to extend your your knee and hinge forward through your hips lift your left leg up standing split draw your crown towards your toes keep a micro bend in the right knee breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out good release the left foot next to your right inhale root to rise arms reaching for the sky and exhale tadasana mountain falls let us flow inhale reach for the sky and exhale swan dive down to fold inhale halfway lift exhale step or hop back to plank inhale shift forward exhale chaturanga inhale what up dog exhale downward facing dog good take a full breath in and a full breath out inhale extend your left leg up to the sky and exhale step it between your palms press through your left foot to extend your knee and hinge forward through your hips lift your right leg up standing split draw your crown towards your toes keep a micro bend in the left knee breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out good release your right foot next to your left inhale root to rise arms reaching for the sky exhale tadasana mountain pose our last flow here yogi let's make it intentional inhale reach for the sky exhale swan dive down to fold inhale halfway lift exhale step or hop back into plank inhale shift forward exhale chaturanga inhale what up dog exhale downward facing dog good take a full breath in and a full breath out release your knees to the mat find a seat swing your legs out in front of you come lay down to the mat legs are bent feet hip with distance apart see if you can grace your heel with your hands if you cannot bring them closer to your glutes on the inhale peel your hips and back off the mat bridge pose clasp your hands under make a fist shimmy your shoulder blades together push relax your neck relax your face 
take a full breath in and a full breath out. Let go of your hands and release your hips back to the mat, nice and slow. Beautiful. Now, if wheel pose is within your practice, follow my cues. If your body isn't ready for wheel today, please find bridge pose again, maybe playing with balancing on one leg at a time. For wheel pose, your legs are in the same position as bridge. Plant your palms over your shoulders, fingers pointing towards your toes. Draw your elbows in. On the inhale, push into your hands to come on top of your head. Just stay here. Readjust. Maybe you want to walk your hands or your feet in closer. When you are ready, lift everything up. Straighten out your arms. Wheel pose. See if you can push your heart towards the back of the room. Maybe play around with your feet. Stepping in closer or further. Maybe you come on top of your toes. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. If you are in bridge, come out the same way. If you are in wheel, release your head and neck down first before lowering your hips. Hug your knees in towards your heart. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. Maybe you sway side to side, massaging your lower back. Extend your left leg out. Hug your right knee in. Use your left hand to guide that knee over to the left supine twist. Your right arm is in cactus shape. Keep your right shoulder down. Maybe you send your gaze past over to the right, or maybe you close your eyes, surrendering to this nurturing twist before we close the practice. Release the twist. Take your time. Hug your left knee in. Extend the right leg out. Use your right hand to guide your left knee across to the right. Supine twist on the other side. Left arm is in cactus shape. Root the left shoulder down to the mat. Come home to your breath.
your head, release the twist, bend into both knees. With your hands reaching to the inside of your legs, grab a hold of the outer edge of your feet. Draw your knees towards your underarms, happy baby. Your head and neck are relaxed. Press the hands into the feet and the feet back into the hands. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe you sway side to side. When you're ready, release your legs and extend them as wide as you like them to be as we've come to our final resting pose, Shavasana. Let your feet fall open and your arms rest alongside your body with your palms facing up. Close your eyes softly. Bring awareness to your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose, feeling your lungs expand. Exhale fully, releasing any residual tension. Let each breath be a conscious, intentional act. Take a moment to scan your body from head to toe. As you breathe, visualize your breath traveling through your body, bringing relaxation to each area it touches. Release any lingering tightness or tension. Surrendering any control over your breath. Allow it to return to its natural rhythm. Observing the ebb and flow without manipulation. This is a time for complete release and surrender. Bring your intention to the forefront of your mind. Reflect on how you moved with purpose and intention throughout your practice. Acknowledge the effort you put into each pose and the mindfulness you brought to your breath. Begin to release any remaining tension in your body. Let go of any thoughts that may arise, allowing them to drift away like clouds passing in the sky. Embrace the stillness. Begin to deepen your breath, slowly waking up your body, first by wiggling your fingers, your toes, then take in one last deep stretch, lengthening and reaching. Then when you're ready, roll onto your favorite side. Push yourself back up and find easy seat. Hands at your heart, Anjali Mudra.
Take a moment here to acknowledge and be proud of all the hard work you've done today. Give yourself thanks for dedicating the time and space to self-care. May your day be happy, healthy, and full of love. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you, especially what you want me to post next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not already and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any new videos. If you know a friend or a family member that can benefit from today's practice, share the love. Let's practice together soon.